Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. As some of you probably noticed, I took a day off yesterday just for myself and my contemplations. It was an important moment for me. Weather update. Yes, this is the weather today. Yesterday was beautiful and sunny all day long. Today the rain is on and off. This is very much on. My continue, although I was planning to take a long walk and record this for you while I'm walking. The weather is like this, but at least you have some view behind me so I can read you this. Uh, it's an article that I came across from the Russian portal. Uh, 3mv.ru The link to this article will be below the video in the description box so you can read it. However, it's in Russian, so I have to translate it. I translate it via Google Translate because yeah, clearly I don't know the language that well. But let me read you this article uh, and then I give you in a nutshell my commentary to it. The title is After clashes with Russia, Poland will turn into a lifeless desert. And it goes on like this the polish army is moving ammunition depots to the border with russia and belarus according to ndp the authorities are presenting this as a defense against an attack from the east however in the event of an armed conflict poland where military facilities are literally at every step will turn into a lifeless desert the newspaper writes Marek Galas. I'm not sure if this sounds like Polish last name. Marek Galas? Gawash? Could be. He writes, Last week it became known that Polish army is moving ammunition depots to the border with Russia and Belarus. The movement of tank and artillery shells, mines and ammunition is carried out both day and night. Polish activity on the western border western from the russian side has long been of a concern to the military and political leadership of our neighbors in addition to the east uh, in addition to the eastward expansion of nato which inevitably and quite pred predictably led to conflict the creation of additional bases in poland and baltic countries with the participation of U.S. troops on a rotational and permanent basis, endless large-scale exercises along NATO's eastern borders, and new dragging, and now new and now dragging of ammunition depots to the very border, together with the statements about the possibility of creating a joint front with Polish terrorists from the so-called Kalinowski regiment inflame emotions more and more you flip the page i am not professional journalist we know that let's continue residents of the border region of poland and the baltic countries do not feel safe as constantly as they constantly witness the movement of military equipment to the eastern borders. The recent incident of Latvian city of Salaspils, I pronounce it the right way, was an indicator of the attitude of the population towards the militarization of the country. On June 13th, an un unidentified People set fire to a military tank with gasoline. A spokesman for the Latvian Armed Forces said that the ignited military equipment was moving through Latvia to Lithuania. The tank had previously been in Finland for military exercises. What exactly happened is unknown. The country's authorities do not comment on the cause of the incident, but eyewitnesses said that they heard two pups before the fire, which might indicate sabotage. In Poland, 
when NATO vehicles move, roads are often blocked, which irritates the citizens. The transformation of Zeshov, city in Poland, into a transshipment base for the transfers of NATO weapons to Ukraine, the creation on the territory of Poland of military plant for the repair of tanks and other armed vehicles, a base in Radzikov, another city, the deployment of US military bases throughout the country, the use of Gdynia, uh, harbor town in Poland, the use of Gdynia as a transshipment base for the Navy. This is by no means a complete plan for the militarization of Poland by the last page by the law and justice government which is peace government one second everyone we create some sense of stability here the purchase of korean weapons with a loan received from seoul instead of developing their own production and enslaving contracts with the United States do not give the Poles a sense of security and peace of mind for the security of the country, on the contrary, causes concern in connection with the ruin of the country and the destruction of the Polish arms industry. Law and justice presents the militarization of Poland as a, force, as a forced move to defend against an attack from the East. However, such demonst uh, demonstrative aggressiveness actions had the opposite effect. In order to protect itself and the western borders of the Union State, Belarus turned to Russia with requests to provide it with nuclear tactical weapons which were withdrawn from its territory more than 30 years ago under the Treaty on the Non- proliferation of such weapons. The situation has changed the terms of treaties, starting with the NATO Treaty on the non-proliferation of nuclear weapons in the East have not been fulfilled, so now each country ensures its own security by its own measures. The territories of Poland in the event of an armed conflict would turn into a lifeless desert desert, sorry, not desert, a lifeless desert, since military facilities in Poland are literally an, on every step. My commentary, desert. My commentary. Well, let's start with Rzeszów, that was mentioned here in this article. Rzeszów is a town in Poland, southeast, uh, big, big town. Actually, my mom came from the regions of that big town not from that city, Rzeszów, Rzeszów's airport had to be closed. The airport that was used by the citizens, by the locals who live there, international, they could fly international from there as well, because of what happened to that airport due to those transports of ammunition, weapons, uh, tanks, military stuff, it was completely destroyed. So now they have to rebuild, renew this airport because it was not prepared for such a heavy machines, objects coming there. So it's just one, one thing from me. I tell you, actually I've written this down not to jinx it with my English. My commentary is this. They are destroying the economy for the sake of the military. They are tightening the screw on the nation of Poland with the taxes, taking the country to such economic extreme that we might have a replay of a pre-war Germany, pre-World War II Germany. This is just my commentary on this, because they are justifying every spending, taking the loans for the military equipment, destroying country economically, raising the taxes, tightening the screw more and more, Small businesses are closing every single day. Even though people have customers, they are not able, even they have, need, they have uh, demand and they have customers, they are not able to put up with all those payments and those taxes are being going higher and higher. And actually I have to give you maybe in the next video about this new 
new tax that came for the next year for the small business owner again. Meanwhile, they are taking loans for the military equipment. So they are prioritizing this. So this is the approach when, when a country wants to go to war, in my opinion, that's how the country acts. Look, Germany, before the Second World War, what was there economically, right? Financially. And then the only solution you have, we gotta go to war. But who, who designed this? Like, who is the author of this scenario for this movie? This is real life, but I'm saying, right? Just my thoughts. So guys, this is the video for today. Uh, and I will end it here. The article you find below this uh, in the description box. That's all I have for you. And now I take time for myself. Lots of love, everyone. If you enjoy it, I mean, not to really enjoy, right? But if you appreciate the video, hit that like. Join me on Locals, like I always say, it's very important because that platform, you can find me there. And for the number of you that are watching, it would be nice if more of you can join me there. Uh, and also follow me on Instagram. Locals is aniak44.com, A-N-I-A-K, number 44.com. And my Instagram is A-N-I-A-K, underscore 44. Also join my mailing list. And I see you in the next video, guys. Who knows from where? Bye, everyone.